What a day today. I think we did something pretty amazing. We made London and the World Wide Web just a little bit more LGBT. In fact, a lot more LGBT. Obviously very proud to be on the list, but most importantly, I hope that the list itself and the publicity that surrounds the list really encourages companies and organisations to embrace diversity. Being on the list was a complete surprise. Making our experience normal is a massive, massive boost to people who are worrying about can I be who I want to be and achieve the things I want to achieve. Being on the list was a great surprise and a great delight. Starting out in my career, gosh, 25 years ago, I never would have imagined that being gay would have been on any list in the Financial Times deemed meritorious. It's a really, really special evening for us and certainly for all of us. So pleased that A, we became a part of Outstanding as Deutsche Bank, but also to see so many other firms having joined, see so many of you here tonight. I think it's important for companies now to be very visible in their support of diversity issues. Previously it had been kind of kept in the cupboard, we, we had them, but we weren't sure what all our clients would think. Now I think where society has changed and we've evolved, if you're not up the front there all the time on these issues, you're simply way behind. Being the youngest person on the list is a particularly proud moment. Role modeling of senior business leaders is important because it, it um, makes it a more comfortable place for people to be and to be comfortable and be authentic in terms of who they are. What we see at Stonewall is that everybody who sees someone who they can be when, they're, when they get more senior, role models in an organisation, is absolutely integral to their sense of self. You can be what you see. So we all have a responsibility to be effective role models. I must say that I'm extremely proud not just to be editor of the pink newspaper, <laughs> but I'm also very proud to be the editor of a news organisation that has published its second worldwide executive diversity report. For me, I guess I go back to my school days when I remember almost the impossibility of even coming out, let alone the idea that I could actually be lucky enough to be on the list featuring in a newspaper like the FT. It just makes the most extraordinary difference to your performance when you can come to the office, bring your whole self to the office. It just makes, makes my life so, so much better if I can bring my whole self to work. I think it's really important that the younger generation of the LGBT community today are courageous and proud and if they feel that they haven't got that courage as they move into their career in a new organisation, that they find somebody that they can trust who can help them really understand the benefits of being out and being proud. The media coverage of the report and the power list we published with our esteemed media partner, the Financial Times, has been overwhelming. We've been trending on Twitter. <laughs> Stephen Fry tweeted about the list to his 7 million followers and our website crashed. <laughs> A list like this list is important because it gives visibility to senior people who are out and being confident about that at work and not fearing that it's going to hold them back in any way. One of the things that is noticeable about the list is that 24% are women. I'm very proud that two of those 24% are from Aviva, so clearly being a lesbian is the way to get on and get to the top. I think Aviva are hugely proud of, of, of Jan and I being on the, the list today. This is a, a recognition both for Aviva and for us as individuals. That's a huge thing, isn't it, to be recognised both for your position in business, your leadership, um, and for what you do in the gay community. So that moment of recognition is absolutely superb. This time last year we had six corporate members, now we have an amazing 21, which includes nine of the FTSE 100. And I'm really proud to announce our newest members, Thomson Reuters, Credit Suisse and Balfour BT, who all joined in the last 10 days. I think at Thomson Reuters we really take role modelling seriously. It's about the shadow you create as a leader, it's about the footprint you leave on the organisation and the people around you. And it makes it clear to others the sorts of things we're looking for in our leaders. And it helps people have something to aspire to. It's really important. Role models are important, especially for people in senior positions, because it helps people in our organisation, in Lloyds Banking Group, 
be themselves at work and, and recognise that senior people who appear to be openly gay, for example, it's safe. You know, it's great. I looked at the list this morning and I felt incredibly proud to be on the list. But I guess what was more fun was just seeing all of my friends and my family and my children all commenting and posting pictures and uh, it was absolutely fantastic. 2014 has been an incredible year for LGBT equality in the UK. And part of this was seeing our first ever openly gay CEO of a FTSE 100 company. I cannot emphasize enough how groundbreaking this is. His appointment is a massive step for LGBT equality in business, and it makes Burberry's Christopher Bailey a well-deserving recipient of our LGBT Leader of the Year Award. Unfortunately, Christopher can't be with us this evening to accept the award on Christopher's behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Sachs. So, uh, just once again, thank you all so, so very much. On behalf of Christopher and all the folks at, at Burberry, thank you, Suki, and I hope you have a good evening. As we've grown as an organization, we've realized more and more the importance of visible ally role models. However, there was one person that stood out from the rest. He has been an advocate for gay rights for over 40 years and recently being voted as the best boss in the past 50 years places him firmly as our top ally and the recipient of our inaugural Lifetime LGBT Ally Award. I'm uh, truly honoured and humbled to receive this outstanding Ally Award tonight. So I just want to say thank you. I passionately believe it's everybody's responsibility to create an environment where everybody can thrive, not in spite of who they are, but because of it. There's a long way to go, but some landmark steps have been made. Long may this progress continue. Anyway, have a most fantastic evening. Thanks a lot. Cheers. People are more open and understanding and accepting, but you've got to play your part by just being yourself. If you're not out, it's a problem for you. Once you're out, it's a problem for somebody else, not you, and you get on with your life. Being on the list for me um, gives you an opportunity to help other people at work to be themselves. If being on the list helps people in our organisation or others to be authentic and be better at their jobs, then that's a good thing. Business is very potentially important and extremely effective if we tap it right to bring about change. I just want you to know that the Financial Times, 126 years old this year, under its editor, me, is committed to publish material, as our masthead says, without fear and without favour. I want to say a huge congratulations to everyone who was nominated. Even if you didn't make the final list, you're still an incredible role model, and please keep doing what you're doing. Keep standing up and telling the world that you will not be held back by your gender or sexuality. We love you all and thank you.